Hello everyone and welcome to another video by Centipede Geek. Today in this video I'm pretty much going to do a Human Centipede 3 news video where I'm going to gather up all the recent news about the film, the Human Centipede 3 final sequence, and let you guys know about it. It's been many months since I've seen a video. The reason I'm making this video is because I've been getting a bunch of comments from you guys saying, hey, make a video about the Human Centipede 3, you know, what's going on, where is it at? Well, let's just say that recently there's been a lot of the news. There's been a poster that's came out. You know, of course, Tom Sitz is coming back to direct it. All the actors are announced. From what I understand, the the film is done being is is done shooting. From what I understand, they're in the editing process. You know, they're currently editing it. Of course, they could be done by now. I'm not really for sure. But from what I understand, uh, it's coming out very soon. So let me talk to you guys a little bit about it. If you don't know, in this video, I'm pretty much going to give a full-on review, not review, but just a pretty much a full-on overview of what the Human Centipede 3 is all about. So from what I understand, of course, Human Centipede 3 is going to take place right after the second one. And from what I understand, the film is going to have what they call a happy, sad ending. I'm not really for sure what he means by that, but that's that's what that's what he, that's what they're going to do. Uh, so Human Centipede 3, of course, titled Final Sequence, of course, directed and written by Tom Six, who, if you guys noticed, has not tweeted on Twitter for over a month now. And the reason for that is because he has not been verified yet. Tom Six wants to get verified, and I think he should be verified. He's my favorite director. If anybody, gets to, if anybody deserves to get verified, it's definitely Tom Six. And because of Tom Six not getting verified, his last tweet was actually 25th of September of this year. It says, like a spool, like a rotten spoiled child, I will stop twittering until I get verified. Bye, Twitters. Hopefully tweet you soon or in five years. Now, first, when I first read that, I thought he was being sarcastic. I thought he was joking. But it's been over a month now, and I'm starting to feel like that tweet may have been serious. Either way, I really do miss Tom Six on Twitter. I checked his tweet every day just to see what he was up to. It was always interesting finding out what he was doing. Anyway, so the Human Centipede 3 final sequence stars actors and actresses such as Eric Roberts, Robert Lissardo, Tommy Tiny Lister, Brie Olsen. Tom Six is going to play himself in the movie from what I understand, so I'm not really sure how that's going to work. It's going to be really cool seeing him in the movie, I know that. Uh, Lawrence R. Harvey, you know, who played Martin, is going to play a character by the name of Dwight Butler. Dieter Laser, you know, from the first movie, who played Joseph Hyder, he is going to play a character by the name of Bill Boss. Then you have Jay Tavera, you have Clayton Rohner, you have Bill Hutchins. Bill Hutchins played the psychiatrist character in the second film. He's going to come back and play a character by the name of Inmate 488. So I guess he'll play one of the inmates. And then there's several other actors. I'll make sure to put the IMDb link below. That way you can see a full list of information. The tagline for the film you know, we had 100% medically accurate for the first one. We had 100% medically inaccurate for the second one. And now we have 100% politically incorrect. And that's the tagline for the third film. From what I understand, this is actually a direct quote from Lawrence R. Harvey himself, you know, who plays Martin. In a recent interview he did, I'm not for sure how long ago. Uh, but this is his reaction towards the question was, what, what was it like working with Eric Roberts? He says, we worked for a couple of days. He was that star quality when he walks into the room. He's very relaxed and a really lovely guy. Another question he was asked was, can you give us an insight into the Human Centipede 3? Here's his exact quote. I only say what Tom already said. It starts with the end of the second film, and it has a sleek American feel. It's going to be in lush colors, and there's a slightly smoky interior. It will all look and feel very different to the other two. That's some really insightful news. I actually just found out about that news uh, before I made this video. So, you know, the first one was a very clinical look with the colors and the camera angles. You know, it was a very clinical look. The second one was mainly handheld, had a very gritty look to it, you know, black and white, you know, a very, you know, grotesque and gritty look to it. The third one apparently is going to be very slick, you know, so... That's that's interesting to know. I'm really curious to see. It. Uh, question: Another be more group. Lawrence R. Hardy likes to be a specific film. It was about this film. People said it was almost gore, offensive in a different way. That's interesting. I'm wondering. I I can't wait to see. You know how people are going to be. I love offensive material. I love the cinema. So it's going to be really cool seeing. That. Uh, another question he was asked was, "What has it been like working on the Human Centipede 3?" He says, "It's been good. 
Great reunion with Tom, Alana, David Meadows, and James Ruffle. It's been great to meet the rest of the cast and crew from America. I was a big fan of Robert Lasardo. When Tom wanted a great convict, I suggested him, and it was great that Tom chose him. Uh, and then there's several other questions, you know. He, of course, there is not going to be a human centipede. There's no human before. He's going to have one, two, three. So it's as if you're watching like a four and a half hour movie. It says here that apparently later on in the year, it says in a couple of years down the line, he wants to release a cut of all three films joined together. So like a special sort of director's version where all three films are together all at once. That's really cool. I'd love to buy something like that. I do know that Tom Six's next film is a film in the name of Onania Club, and the word Onania means obsessed with masturbation. So, I mean, I don't know what that's going to be about. Uh, but anyways, that that's I mean, that's what his next film is about. Uh, I know, I know. Recently, he was writing the script on some, you know, in some foreign country, from what his Twitter said. So, anyways, what's some other human to be three news? Well, this is news is a little older. Most of the stuff I've told you is new. Recently, there was a poster was that released, which I'll have a link in the link, you know, a, a link in the description bar below. It has a, I'll have the poster definitely in my room. It's, it has all the making, it's said to be three, it has like three on it. This is the final bottom. Uh, also, uh, re, this is, like I said, this is a little older news. There, go, there is going to be, apparently, from what I understand, a 500 person centipede. Now, now, I, now, from what I understand, it's either 500 people or over 500 people. Either way, there's going to be at least 500 people in the centipede. It's going to take place in a prison. From what I understand, the first film was filmed in the Netherlands. The second film was filmed in the UK. And now the third film is in, is filmed, obviously, in America. Uh, there was, If you look back on Tom Six's Twitter, you can see an old picture where he's standing there in the actual set of The Human Centipede 3. Looks like there's some wood in the background and stuff. Anyways, uh, so from what I understand, the film takes place in a prison so that is really interesting to know you know this this whole prison looked and i that's that would make sense lawrence r harvey says it has sort of a smoky interior that makes sense with the premise of the prison now it also says lush colors so that means it's is it, it, it mean, i'm assuming it's going to have sort of a different color template you know you had a sort of a clinical black and white now i guess we're going to have some bright lush colors so that's going to be really interesting Seeing that come into play, uh, personally, I can't wait to see The Human Centipede 3. I'm a huge fan of Tom Six. I've only seen, I haven't seen his foreign films. They're kind of hard to find here in America. Uh, but I, I would, you know, A Gay in Amsterdam is easy to find on Amazon. But I cannot find I Love Dries for the life of me. I've looked online, torn sites. I just can't seem to find it. But I'll keep looking, of course. Uh, but I've been really curious to see A Gay in Amsterdam recently. I watched a trailer for it recently. And it looks like a great film, so I'm really curious to watch that one. But I'm a huge fan of both Human Centipede's one uh, first sequence and then Human Centipede 2 uh, full sequence. And I think Human Centipede 3 final sequence, uh, it's just going to be great. I remember him something about the first one saying that, you know, it's going to make the first one look like My Little Pony. Something about a Disney film, uh, you know, the second one. And then I know recently he said, not recently, but a while back he said that the third one is going to upset a lot of people. I can't wait to see what boundaries this film is going to push. You know, this controversial concept of someone being so mouth to anus. That's such an interesting concept that it's just, it's just fun to watch. I just, I love, you know, the Human Centipede films. Definitely my all-time favorite film. Obviously, you can see with my channel titled Centipede Geek. I just can't wait to watch it in general that's pretty much most of the news you know i talked about the actors the director the writer obviously uh, the plot taking place in the prison long time ago i made a video about the whole lawsuit there was a lawsuit that went on I, from from what i understand uh dita laser didn't want to he didn't like the script at first and they were going to go to court for it and there were rumors of i believe it was udo udo kier i believe i forget i, I think it's his name who might be a replacement for Dita Laser's character. Don't worry about that lawsuit anymore. It's all out the window now. Dita Laser and Tom Six have settled their differences. Dita Laser will be, I repeat, will be in the Human Centipede 3 playing the character of Bill Boss. I'm glad they settled their differences because I can't imagine another person playing the role that Dita Laser will play. He played a great Joseph Hyder character. He was phenomenal. Definitely the best thing about the first film 
was his performance. And I just love the film in general. It's got a great sense of self to it that, that Tom Six just adds to the film with his uh, directorial style. Uh, so that's pretty much all the news. I just wanted to make this update video to, you know, the guys can know what's going on. You know, where's the film been at? And one last bit of news that before I forget, I hope I didn't forget anything. I may have forgot something. Uh, but one last bit of news, I was scrolling through uh, Dita Laser's tweet. He has a Twitter, by the way, you know, the guy who plays, uh, you know, Joseph Hyder's character. I was going through Dita Laser's uh, tweets recently, and I noticed that he replied to someone's uh, comments, and he said that it was in German, so I actually had to go to Google Translator and copy and paste his tweet into the Google. And when I found out, it was actually very interesting. The release date for Human Centipede 3 final sequence is in the spring of 20. 14. That is awesome. That means in the next few months or so, we should have some sort of teaser trailer or some sor sort of full-length trailer in the next few months. Spring, I am guessing, this is just a guess, I am guessing March, April, I'm saying April at the latest, but I'm saying sometime in March, uh, because, you know, I believe the first film was released in February, uh, so that you, they kind of get released around the same time every year, it seems. And I'm thinking that sometime in March, maybe even late February. Uh, but either way, according to DJ Laser himself, it will come out in the spring of 2014. Anyways, that's about it for this video. As I said earlier, I am really looking forward to this film. It's going to probably be my all-time favorite film. You know, Centipede, Human Centipede 1 and 2 are already my favorite. The Human Centipede 3 is going to be just as good, if not better. Anyways, once again, thanks for watching another video by Centipede Geek. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe to my page below. And I will see you guys later with more videos by Centipede Geek.